Wow, <laughs> Frank. <laughs> this would this must have been Frank's Hulk Hogan phase. Exactly. Holy shit, who did this? Right. I, it's almost crazy. Did he commission this? I, this almost doesn't even seem like something he would like to do. <laughs> I don't know. For this sure. is wild. Just ahead in He's the fucking crushing his guitar. <laughs> He's trying to kill flies at the same time. What are those glasses? He looks like some dude that would be at a music festival today Hell yeah. with those fucking glasses. Yeah, he's called Mindbender. Jesus Christ. Could you imagine if Frank was really this jacked when he was making all this music? He'd be uh, Henry Rollins. He'd be Henry. <laughs> uh, or would he be Henry Zappa? Oh. Or would he be, wait, wait Frank, Frank Rollins? Rollins? Frank mm-hmm. Rollins or Henry Zappa? I don't know which one's cooler. They I both sound pretty cool. Yeah. You, you guys tell us. He'd be Zappa Rollins. This Rollins is fucking Zappa. wild. Is this is this like the man from Utopia? Is this supposed to be like a like a B movie from like the fifties? Like, this is this is a, the most wild Frank cover that I've seen. And me too. And this doesn't you look is utopic a word? <laughs> you don't look like utopian. You don't look like you're utopian. Yeah, this should be the man future. from Dystopia. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Well, let's see what this song is about. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're Side After Dark out of Brooklyn, New York. Your new favorite band. I'm Dan Berg. And I'm Cedar Graffiti. Check out our music. And check out us reacting to The Radio Is Broken by the legendary Frank Zappa. This was a runner-up on one of our polls on Patreon. If y'all don't know, all of our reactions are chosen by our patrons on Patreon. So go over there and tell us what to react to. Thumbs up if you like this video. The Cosmos and Lights It's a very big It's so far away The Comet The Greatest The Baby The Solar Wind The Residual Echo Explosion where they said it began. The germs from space, the negative virus did bear. The blobulent suit, the, that's right, the blobulent suit. It's made of rubber, it's very ugly. It's got an air hose. The guy that has it all has a space ray.
Interesting one. Interesting to say the least. Interesting to say the most. Interesting to say the mid. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, clearly he's making fun of like the old school movies, like we were talking about, like the old like super cheesy like alien movies and stuff. Mm-hmm. And the music was great, but the way that he was singing it, I know he's singing it as a joke. I don't like it. <laughs> it's very annoying to me. I mean, which is kind of sad because musically this was such a great song, and I love that. I love that like bass go do 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 like when it groove into that, and um, I really love the music of it. But just the way that they were singing it really just kind of annoyed me, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, quit it. I believe you guys used to say that back in the day. They don't say it anymore. Take it easy. Right. They don't. They don't use those words anymore at all. Take quit. Take it. Those words are played out. No. Um. What I did really like. I love the rhythm in which he was saying all the words. Yes. Like, I wish I could bite it. I wish I could do it myself, like, not in that tone. Like, right? the flow of it? Yes. Yeah. The flow of it was actually amazing. The radio is broken. And, like, everything he was doing after that was just amazing. I wish. I w- and I would do it. I would I would do it on an album just so Zappa fans would know, like, that's a Zappa fan right there. But yeah. I wouldn't, you know, of course I wouldn't make my voice like that. It would be more yeah. melodic and, you know, pretty. But um, and not as annoying. No, definitely not right. annoying. But I would definitely ride the rhythm the same way. Want yeah. to do the stops, and, you know, and of course it'd be musically good. And I wouldn't probably, I probably would not do the tongue in cheek either. Yeah, you, you know do it I mean? like a legit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you would know, like this girl likes Frank Zappa. Yeah, but obviously that's not his style. Like I totally get it. I respect it. I know what he was going for. I just personally am not super into that. Mm-mm. But you know, I get it. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. radio is broken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it sounds like, like he just had like a head injury or some your shit. Your poor kids. <laughs> <laughs> when they were little. Oh my God, dad. Oh my God. It is so funny also hearing him sing like that while this is the album cover. <laughs> yeah. But now what he was singing about does match the album cover. Because yeah. it does give that kind of old Hollywood creepy cheesy movies, Wolfman and stuff like that. Yeah. That I still like though. What was the um, version of the Zappa band that this was? Like I don't know what years this was. This is the first time I've seen this album cover. I feel like this has to be like early 80s or something. Yeah. Or like mid 80s. Like this is not, I don't feel, think this is 70s Zappa. Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea for sure. Yeah. No idea. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. So definitely let us know if you guys know. We'd appreciate it. Tell us in the comments. Um, yeah, check out our Frank Zappa podcast if you haven't already. And that's pretty much it for this one. So shout out to all the patrons for voting for this. We appreciate you. We're making these videos possible. Shout out to everybody watching on YouTube. We're Side After Dark, and we'll see you soon.